Here we go, starting up Live Printer. I'm going to choose a COM port first to connect to the printer. And then I wait until I get the information back, which should show up in the right. It takes a second sometimes. There we go. I've got a whole bunch of information in that right hand pane. I'm going to go to my code editor and let's start. So first, I'm going to type in using the mini syntax. You can type start and the printer starts. Hey, let's move it into view. So let's say uh, move to x is lp dot center, y lp dot center y, z let's put it at maybe like 10 to give it a little bit above and speed let's say let's go pretty quickly so let's go 50. And immediately the printer should come into view. Ah, there we go. Now I should check the temperature, so I'm going to run a sync. Just make sure my temperature is good, which should show up in the right up here. It's at 131 degrees. I'll go a little bit higher. I really I, I have it set at 190. Um, why don't I make the temp a bit higher? So I'm going to say temp 220, because that seems to work better with the PLA that I'm using right now. Okay, how we doing? Sync running again. I just got new power supply for my printer, so it should warm up pretty quick. It's at 191. I'm gonna run it again. I can smell the PLA. It smells kind of weirdly sweet in a way. Sure, it's not good for your lungs. 213. Okay, I'm pretty good. So let's uh, extrude. And I'm gonna extrude um, just a little bit, just the filament, which is the E. I'm gonna say go five millimeters of that and at like a really low speed of one. And you can hear it very quietly, right? And now let's do it again. Let's make sure we get some filament out there. I might even move the head up a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna say up 30, just to make sure that it's up a bit and I can see. Ah, oh, there we go, cool. So once I have it, I'm gonna retract. Maybe I'll retract four. Just four millimeters, you hear his little zap. That's cool. That way the filament isn't, uh, it's still coming out a little bit. <laughs> when it's hot, it may leak a little bit, which is always fun for prints. Uh, sometimes you have to attract even more. So let's say I'm gonna draw like a little square. So I've already got my code to do this. I'm gonna move to the center X. I'm gonna turn to zero. Okay, which is facing to the side. I'm gonna unretract my filament to get it primed. And then I'm gonna repeat. Let's only do it like a few times. There's four sides, so 20 should be about five layers. So I'm gonna repeat 20 times. Go distance of 10 at a speed of 25. Extruding, turn, and then I'm gonna repeat that. And if I'm on the fourth turn there, I'm gonna go up. So I'm gonna move up a layer. Okay, and that should look a bit like this. Okay, let's prime that to go. Uh, I'm not gonna retract eight. I'm just gonna unretract, uh, retract. Let's see, let's get the crap out of the way. Okay, hit enter. And you can see how it's starting to draw. Maybe if we get a little closer there. We can there we are. Okay, back to it. Let's go up 80. And I've got a little blobby thing. I've got extra filament, as you can see. Oh, I didn't turn my bed on. I should really get my bed warmed up too. So I'll turn my bed up to 50 here. Okay. And then let's go back down and try this again. You see how fast it goes? So fast. Bingo. Okay, go back up. There we go, we got some layers. It helps to have the bed on. So that's how you draw with a 3D printer.